Hey friends, let's do Days Gone By Guitar Lesson by Slaughter. And with this song we're tuned to D. So just tune each string down a tone. I'll play the intro then we'll break it down. intro rhythm and we'll look at our solo in a minute. Have a C power chord, play it again, second fret on the A string, an A power chord, play the A again, just a G chord, to an F power chord, play the F power chord again, and then we're doing open E string third fret A and D, to the G chord, G chord again, and then finish off the C chord. And that's the intro rhythm, let's have a look at the solo. So we're just starting on the E string, 8, 7, B, 8, jumping to 7, G and doing a bend. Play 5, 7, 7, 8, B, back to 7, G and a bend. Repeat that again, 8, 7, 8, 7, bend. 5, 7, 7, 8, B, bend on 7, G. Then to B, 5, 6, 7, G, 5, D, 7. Then we're jumping back to the B string, 3, slide to 5, and do that 3 times. 1, 2, 3, do a bend and release on the 5, jump to 7 on the G, then do a trill between 5 and 7, so just hammer on pull off. Then B, 6, pull off the 5, G7 and then 8 on the E. Then we have a harmony just on the end part doing our 3 slide to 5 but this time we do it on the G string, 3 slide to 5, 2, 3, play 7, 5, jump to 5 on the D and do a trill between 5 and 7 again. Then jump to G7, pull off the 5, 5 on the D and 8 on the B there. And that's our intro. Then we have our verse which we don't play in and then our pre-chorus, we're just using these octave chords. We're going to have 5 on the E, 7 on the D, slide up. Then just come up 2 frets, 7 and 9. Go back to the G, 3 and 5. And then play the D over F sharp. So it's just second fret on the E, mute the A, open D, second fret on the G, and third fret on the B. And that's our pre chorus there, pretty easy. chords again, 3 on the A, 5 on the G, go back 1 fret, then go to the A, so open A, 2nd fret G, muting the D, then just go to G, an F power chord, back to the G power chord, then we go into this G7, you're going to play 3rd fret on the E, mute the A, 3rd fret on the D, open G, 3rd fret on the B. Then we do the intro again, 3 to 5, 2 to 4, O to 2, our G, back to the F, and finish on G there. And that's our chorus. 
And from there we go back to the intro, guitar one and two are the same, back to the verse where we don't play, back to the pre-chorus which is the same, and then we do the chorus again. The only change here is we're going to end on the C5 power chord. So we're going from the G, F, G, and finish on the C5 there. Starting on an F power chord, do three, do that again, then we're dropping back to the C power chord, and then play two A5 on the D and the G, to an A power chord, to the G, jump up to a D power chord, play it two times, then we're doing a D sus4, back to the D. And then to finish that off, we have 10A9 on the D. Come back to 8A10 on the D. 7A11 on the D. And then back to 5A and 7 on the G. And that's guitar one. Now guitar two is just doing a rundown. We have 12 on the E. B, 15, 13, 12, G, 14, 12, D, 14, 12, and that's our bridge there. solo rhythm and we'll do our solo at the end we just have an E power chord and then just drop back to 6 on the A still play 9 D and G then a C sharp power chord to a B power chord play the B again and then play it with the open E string so we have to a D power chord two times Back to the B, and then our open E and the B power chord again. Back to the E, our 699, to our C sharp, to our B, this time go to an A, jump to the B and slide down, and then jump to the C and slide down. And that's our solo rhythm there, and we'll do our solo at the end. Again, we're just doing these octave chords, four on the E, six on the D. Move up to six and eight, slide up one fret, and then play the six and the eight again. Then go to seven and nine, slide up two frets, back to the seven and nine. Then come to nine and 11, slide up two frets, and back to the nine and the 11 knees. And then right at the very end, we're just going to play the 11, and we're going to use our volume here, 11E, e, and then 12 on the B, back to 11 on the E, 9, and back to 11 there. And they're all our rhythm parts, now let's have a look at the solo. Start with a 9 on the B slide up, and then 11 on the G, 12 on the B, do a bend on 11 G, release, pull off to 9, and then just do a trill between 9 and 11 on the G, slide up to 10 on the B, 
play 10, 12, 11G, back to B, 9, 10, do a bend on 11G, release, pull off to 9, play 11. Then we're jumping to B, we have 12, E, 9, 12, 9, 12, start on the E, 14, 12, 14, play the 14 again and bend, start on the E, 17, 16, 17, bend, play 17, 16, bend on 16, then bend on 19, do 19, pull off to 7, 17, sorry, and then a half bend on 19, half bend on 20. And there are all the parts there. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed Days Gone By Guitar Lesson by Slaughter. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you love your 80s rock glam and metal, jump onto my YouTube channel for hundreds more songs and I'll see you soon.